Hello, hello, going on five five back again, picking right where we left off, going through the uh, sewers. We were heading towards Roy Phillips. Already looted this way. I wanted to go this way, right? Weird. Why was I going that way? Strange. Oh well. Ooh, she's kebab. Every time I play this game, we'll come back to it. I have to figure out my uh my fucking hotkeys again. Especially considering I've been playing so much uh, New Vegas in the mix time, the two different experiences just get mixed together. It's like, I know I don't got most of the weapons I have in New Vegas. So a lot of cool weapons in that game. Ooh. I'm fine with this. Alright. Eh, scrap metal, I can sell it. Alright, open up. Okay, bobby pin, stim pack, water weight. Right a water weight. Right away. Excellent combined. Right away and water. Lunch box. Nice. Is there even any point to me carrying that? Actually, I don't think there is. Alright, now to go the other way. Oh no. Oh, that actually is some high rats. Not super high, but... High enough to be concerned about. The shish kebab is cool, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a fucking fire sword. We got any more ferals? Yes, come on. Burn. Burn. That's how we take care of zombies down here. Yeah, flaming sword. Ah, oh, you're hidden. Yeah, you gotta do your little... Sucks for you, buddy. Drink that. Heal me up. Oh, that gives me extra damage. Cool. Not the most useful of things. At least for me partic mo in this moment. Oh, there's a couple first aid boxes. Okay, I know what happened there. So there was gas in the room. And you can probably guess what my flaming sword did, ignited it. <laughs> that was funny. And that's why you don't use a shish kebab in areas you, well, at least if you're doing like many a true nerd did, and did a, uh, you only live once rule set. You wouldn't want to do that. Okay, purified water, drink that down. Let's see, what else can I... Do we need these? No, those things are fucking two pounds each. Heal myself up. And pop on out.
Get fucked. I was... There's more where that came I find it funny I lose karma for killing these guys, but it's like... These guys plan to murder and kill everyone in Tenpenny Tower. They're not any better of people. It's like, I understand you like to make your oh-so-moral compass, but it's like, these guys aren't any better than fucking violent murderers. So, fuck them. Seriously, their plans to get in the, are either A, once they are, if you get them in the peaceful way, uh, after a few days, they kill everyone. If you do it uh, the non-peaceful way, they basically assault Tenpenny Tower with a metric fuckton of ghouls. Like fucking dozens of feral ghouls. It's like, these are not the tactics of a calm, peace-loving uh, group of people. Fucking dicks. So it's like, it's like, am I really a bad guy for killing them? No, I am not. It's like, so it's like, why are you giving me karma? No, but pulling karma from me. For this. If anything, I should gain karma. Oh, these two are still friendly towards me. Wow, this chick really doesn't care. <laughs> well, that's gonna hurt my karma. Oh well. Uh, what's my karma at now? Oh, I'm still good. <laughs> Ooh, Chinese assault rifle. That's another good reason to kill him. Chinese assault rifles aren't super common. At least early game. Well, they sure as hell ain't gonna stop me now, are they? Good shit. Even though Bessie Lynn was kinda worthless to kill. Still did it. What's this way? Son of a bitch. Come on. Get out of here, ghouls. Now on, I'm doing the world a favor by ending you. Did I pick up a butter knife? I swear to god. Fucking ghouls. Ghouls and their random fucking butter knives. Whoa. Oh. 
Damn. Also, another fun thing. If you cut off a limb that's been set on fire, it pretty much stays on fire forever. It's quite amusing. I'm guessing that's some of his cohorts who have ghoulified fully. Alright, what's down here? Hey, a big book of science. Well, that's certainly worth the hassle. Come here, big book of science. Kick ass. Now my science is up to 67. That's nice and high. Metro access and generator. Let's go to the other one. Just because I'm kind of curious what's downstairs first. Fucking ghouls. Probably more fucking ghouls. Oh, well. Also random burning barrel. Where the fuck am I? Ooh. Shotgun shells. Flamer fuel. Darts. Oh, come on, game. It's not stealing if you're already dead. Oh, well, Dean's Electronics. That's another two repair skill. That I did not have. <laughs> ah, nothing good there. Yeah, my car was taking a hit again. Oh, well. bullets I guess I found the sleeping quarters 32 pugilism illustrated that reminds me I need to go back to megaton and pick up one of those might as well crank this skill book yeah that's another reason to go through here. They have three fucking skill books. At the minimum. Hey, a quantum. Gas. Alright. You know, this seems to imply that this place was a bigger amount of ghouls. That or a pre-war. Not pre-war, but you know. Okay, so I did circle back into their base area. But yeah, they had three skill books they were holding out on me. That's definitely worth the murder, I'd say. What about you? Let's put that away before it explodes me again. Oh yeah, another nice little feature. If you have the... What's it called? Uh, shish kebab out. You have an oven mitt on your hand. I noticed that... Uh, on Vance. Like, that dude has a fucking oven mitt. And it's like, that isn't part of that outfit. So it's like... It's... Then it's like, oh, wait, that comes with the shish kebab, doesn't it? Alright, all the ghouls are dead. Including all the ferals. Had to be extra safe. Now let's get on out of here. 
anything in your fridge. Just, just a chair for some reason. Of all the weird things you could stuff in the fridge, you just stuffed a chair. Oh well. Let's see what where we pop out now. Probably to that warranted station I've seen before. Wait a minute. You said the the station was blocked off. I just came through there easy as pie. What, is it locked if I go the other way? Like if I try to go through it? Weird. Oi, let me in. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Good to Hello, see you. security guard. Chief Gustavo, you're just a security guard. Hey. Huh. Didn't think you had it in you. Guess you proved me wrong. Good job. Knowing those ghouls are gone takes a load off my mind. Thanks. You'll be wanting the reward now, won't you? I suppose you've earned it. There's your caps. Contract fulfilled, debt paid. This don't mean we're buddies, all right? Now get going. Hmm. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's Yay, my... got an achievement. All right. I'll definitely take some 44 Magnum rounds. Damn, that's a lot of energy cells, ECP, and shotgun shells. There's no way I'm getting up to that amount of caps. Oh well. I guess I don't need the energy cells that much. Just the shotgun. Oh, I can also sell the ammo I don't use. Like, you definitely have all these missiles, these. Uh, no, I'd like to keep the railway spy. Flame of fuel, you could definitely have. Let's see, what else could I use? Ah, miniguns. It's not a bad thing though it is in terrible fucking condition I sure as hell have no use for your armor yeah that's actually a pretty good rate on oh no wait stim packs are cheap in this game I'm used to New Vegas where they're like a hundred fucking caps a pop it's like fuck no Alright, we good on ammo? I think we're good on ammo now. Use this as an excuse to get clean some space, get rid of uh, some gear and get some extra caps from him. Eh. You can have this shitty missile launcher. Ooh, Ripper. I've been using that in New Vegas. That thing is a lot of fun. I'll tell you what. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Watch yourself. Thank you, Chief Gustavo. You've been very helpful. Alright, it's time to head back to Megaton. 
No, not Fairfax. Actually, I do need to go to Springvale anyways, because there's a, a skill book I forgot in one of the mailboxes. Uh, pugilis pugilism uh, Illustrated. Which I'm pretty sure is boxing, if I remember correctly. Is it this one? Letter from Vault Tech. It's not that book. I guess I'll read that in a moment. Foot Locker. Don't really need a hockey mask either. But thanks, game. There it is. There we go, another two unarmed. Hmm. <laughs> In exciting locales such as Oklahoma and newly annexed Canada, where they have the uh, places without a waiting list. That's actually for us, and that is uh, relevant because there is some some of the houses you can see the families are included, so you and you can recognize names that are in the vault right now. So you like see the families that originally entered the vault. All right, so let's go back to my house and drop off all this fucking crap. There you go. There's another bobblehead. No, I'll keep that. It's a lot of frag mines. Oh, give me those back. Holy shit, I have a lot of frag mines. Frag grenades, I could definitely do without, though. Ripper. Okay, I think we're good on equipment there. Let's go up here, drop off our... Welcome home, sir. Ah, uh, clothes. Clothes go in this one. Yeah, put up the naughty night. Actually, that might be useful. Speech 10, luck 1. That's one of the few items in the game that gives luck. Like, that's not a super common thing. It only weighs one. Fuck it. Blood packs. Actually, at this point, we might have enough blood packs to make it worth going on a Ronda. What's it called? Eh, we'll hold off. Put up the stealth boys as well. That'll save some weight. We go back downstairs, grab the frags. And I'll use those to make some cash. Because, well, frag grenades are not that useful unless you've invested heavily into explosives. Which, clearly, I have not. Most of the... Most of the fun toys exist in, uh, in small Welcome guns home, and sir. big guns. And energy weapons. Energy weapons definitely got a few nice ones. Like Vengeance. 
Hello, random settler with a laser pistol. You're just lucky that if I was to kill you, I would have the entire town turn on me. Because unlike New Vegas, where you could sneak up and kill people, nope, you kill one person, the entire town knows you did it. And they're going to hunt you down for it. Come on. Gravel. Huh? Yeah. The more of these I Yay, 28 XP and 50 caps. I needed that. Oh, oh. There we go. Not yet. Fiddle with any interesting well. Absolutely. Holy shit, you got a lot of caps again. Well, there you go. Just have a pile of fucking frags. Don't really have much use for these. Hmm. Might be a good idea to buy these, buy those. Yeah, you can have Scotch, you can have some Psycho, and some Medex. Don't forget the cigarettes. Have some more cigarettes. Actually, give me one of those back. Yeah, I could use that. And, yeah. Good hunting. Try not to die. Try Thanks. Oh, god damn it. I threw away my sensor modules. Come here. No one saw that. You know, I think I... Alright. You got sensor modules? No. Fine. Oh well. That's how you that's how you get away with stealing shit. You just pick it up and walk off into another room where no one can see you. No oh, well. Let's go back to my house. I got I'm going to put this shish kebab up for now. Cause it's heavy and I don't have a lot of use for it. But yeah, this has been a productive part at least. Alright. So, this has been Core 955, playing Fallout 3. Thank you for joining me, and goodbye.